Okay, once this is all finished and I've gone through and done all my grades for the entire scene or the movie, a couple of the things that we can do here is if you want to apply a certain look or you want to do something where you if you've worked with adjustment layers in uh, in Premiere or After Effects this is kind of similar to that but if you want to add generate a very specific look for a group of images within a scene or within your entire movie I'm going to grab all these here I'm going to select a range of clips which is basically the entire movie I'm going to select the first one hold down shift go to the end and, sele and select this one while I'm holding down shift and it selects this whole range I'm going to add these into a group here I'm going to right click and we're going to go add into a new group. You can create as many groups as you want. I'm going to call this one, if this is a scene number, this is the entire movie, so I'm going to call this one Sharpen, because I'm going to use this to kind of sharpen the entire movie, to sharpen the pixels a little bit, make this a little bit more fine. I hit OK. And sharpening is a common thing that people do for movies nowadays, and also vignetting is another common thing that people do, so we're going to do that on both here. So you see if I select on any of these you see these links that are com that are linked to any this is now a group and these are all linked together in what's called a group and I have called this the sharpen group so I'm going to actually just click on one of these any one of these basically and I'm going to go up to this little clip area on the note editor and tell it to show instead of clip I'm going to tell it to do group post clip pre clip will do effects before it actually starts doing this great I'm going to do a post clip which is basically a look that I'm going to create here so now I've got the single node. I can do several nodes if I want on this group here. So this is now a separate node editor for an entire group. It's like an adjustment layer over uh, all of these clips here. So now anything I do, if I want to do a specific look, I can go back to my contrast. I can add a super duper contrasty look. And notice here, as I'm doing that grade, it is affecting all these clips. It is not changing the original grade that I did, but it's doing this grade. I'm going to make this really extreme so you can see. Look at all this. It has added that grade on top of all the grading that I've been doing. But here I'm going to get a little bit more subtle. We're going to just go, I'm going to make a little bit more contrasty image here for my look. I'm going to pull down the saturation a teeny bit for my overall look. And I'm going to maybe blue this up a little bit for my overall look. And there we go. So I got that kind of this blue look, blue cast look throughout the whole thing here. There is my uh, grade right there. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to add a note here and we're going to do another thing. I'm going to sharpen as well. I'm going to go to my little blur tab right here. This does blurring and sharpening here. You got your radius on your red, green, and blue channel here. If you pull up, it does blurring. If you pull it down the opposite, it does sharpening. And you don't want to go too heavy on this, but watch this. I'm going to do Alt F, bring this up a little larger, and I'm going to drag this down just a teeny bit and sharpen my image just ever so slightly here. And let's look at the before and after. So I'm going to hit Control D to de deselect that note here. And look at the before and after. Control D, look how it gets soft. Control D, that actually might be a little too much sharpening. I'm just going to back that off a little bit and just sharpen a little bit. Hit Control D. Let's, I'm going to go full screen here, Control F. And now hit Control D to look at the before and after. And that just brings it out just the, the, that just brings out the sharpness of this ever so slightly. I'm going to do it just a little bit more. I keep changing my mind. So control F to go full screen, control D to turn that node on and off, and look how that just kind of brings out the detail in the shot and makes it ever so, or I should say slightly crisper than it was before. Okay, I'm going to hit Alt F and go back to where I can see my node editor. So this one is a sharpen here. Now I'm going to do one more serial node for my look, and I'm going to add a vignette to this here. So now I'm going to go to my power window. I'm going to click on my power window here and add a mask. And I did hide that, so I'm going to hit Alt F and bring that back, or Alt, sorry, Alt H to bring that back, or Option H, and I'm going to make this a vignette for the whole image here. And you might not want to do this for your entire image. You might want to make it a little bit more subtle shot per shot. This is kind of the lazy way of doing it, which is fine, but let's uh, invert the mat there. I'm going to darken the outside of this and create kind of a vignette on the outside. Now I can see that vignette kind of coming in here. I do Alt H to hide my, and it, that's three toggles by the way with your power window there. Once you're on power window here on this drop down, Alt H, you have to hit it basically three times. I can't remember what the second setting is. But you have to hit it Alt H until it disappears. There it is back. Okay, let's look at this without my power window there. So I hide the, the, the wireframe and I hit Control D to look at that, to turn that layer on and off. And you can see just that mild vignette over the window there, let's go full screen here so you can see this. Control D, just look around the edges and see that kind of mild vignette come in just to kind of emphasize the center of the image. Okay, I'm going to save that. There is my entire look for my entire movie. 
Um, those, those are some basic functions there. We showed you how to use your qualifier for secondary color correction, showed you how to use your mask option here. If you want to draw a mask, by the way, you, and if you want to draw a mask on here, on one of these images here, if you want to draw a custom mask, you can click on this little curve right here. This is a Bezier curve mask. You can click, and you can. And when you click first, it adds a, 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 a corner. Um, a corner node and then if you click and drag your mouse it'll create a bezier. You can click and drag a mouse, click and drag and create your own custom mask by doing this. And now I'm just drawing whatever but uh, let's go to that one there. This is a hard edged mask right here so if you want to turn that into a bezier, if you want to turn this corner into a bezier curve you alt or option click on it. You have to op hold down Alt or Option, click and drag, and it makes a Bezier curve out of one of those hard edge there. And there we go. There's our custom mask. There's really no reason for that, so I'm actually just going to delete that mask, turn that one off, and there we go.